We're here with Aaron Bohannon from the Moorhead State Eagles volleyball team. Aaron, you had a lot of kills and a lot of digs today. Can you talk about your role as an offensive attacker, attacker, as well as your position on the back row and how you practice and prepare yourself for stout competitions such as what you've seen this weekend? Well, um, as an attacker, we have a huge block on our team. So any time that I can go up against Michaela, Laura, and Annie, and Emma in practice, it only helps us to be better in games because, we, honestly, we don't see bigger blocks than what we have on our team. And from a digging point of view, we also have some of the best hitters in the nation. So it's great to practice against them. It only helps me to get better, and you know, I'm just doing my best for my team out here. Okay. Thanks, Aaron. Thank and good you. luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Leslie, I have a question for you. You ended up with 36 digs today. I don't know if you knew that or not, but what are some things that you do in order to keep those rallies going and keep the ball off the floor during a time of chaos? Um, I guess it's just my attitude. You know, I don't want any ball to hit the floor. No matter what, I don't care. If I have to take out someone in a wheelchair. <laughs> I just, I'm ready. I want the team to be successful, and if that means that I have to do whatever I can and not hit the ball at the floor, I'm going to do it. Okay. And what are some things that you're trying to do to prepare yourself as well as your team defensively for the OVC competition coming up? We, just like Aaron said, in practice, we just got to put it to each other and realize that we're just working to make each other better. And Jamie? This is the Moorhead State Eagle Volleyball head coach. Give us your thoughts about the opponents that your team played this weekend and what were the strong points you saw in your team over the whole tournament? Well, I think it was a, a great weekend for us. Um, we got to play three very good teams, uh, three very different teams, uh, uh, a couple different offensive systems and defensive systems, and, and to see the way that our, our team uh, kind of changed gears and, and attacked and, and defended different types of opponents was, was really good. Um, you know, getting two wins out of three matches, uh, I think we still like to have three. Um, but I, I felt the way that we competed and that we played uh, this afternoon uh, was, was really good. And I, I think we have some momentum and some uh, things to build on, as well as go back this week and, and try and fix a couple things as well. Adding on to the different types of teams you've seen, how is that going to prepare you for your first OVC competition, which is going to be Friday against Tennessee State? Well, you've got Tennessee State that's a very uh, strong, athletic, uh, powerful team. Um, they're going to have some strong net play, uh, be able to take some big swings. So, you know, whether it be Michigan that we play or Western Michigan here, or Texas Tech or UNLV, um, all of those teams had some, some pretty big physical players and we got some experience on how to how to defend those types of players, and so that'll be good. And then you've got Austin P, which runs a very quick offense, uh, similar to what Appalachian State had uh, this weekend. So that gives us a, a little bit of a an edge of, of being ready. We can kind of go back as we're going doing our scouting reports. Hey, here's some things that Austin P does that let's say Appalachian State did, or that that those teams did. And so these guys can then start to to kind of look back and go, okay, this is how we were successful. This is how you know, they scored against us and, and, you know, we'll be better prepared for those teams. Okay, well, thank you, Jamie, and good luck the rest of the season. Thank you.